Hello my besties, how are you? Welcome to my DIY channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to transform these $1 wood cutouts from a Dollar Tree into beautiful pieces of home decor. Nobody will be able to tell they were just $1 each. If you enjoyed this video, please give me thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel. That way you don't miss any future videos. We have many more coming up. So today we're going to be working with these cutouts, but the same techniques could be applied really to any other wooden cutouts you can find at a Dollar Tree. First, let's make a heart. It's my favorite this season. I love the planked look. I am going to decoupage a page from a Dollar Tree calendar. I don't know if you've seen the Simply Blessed calendar. Look at the February page. I just love this heart of roses. So pretty. And just take a look at the remaining months. All of them are amazing. I cannot wait to create some more. So a Dollar Tree has many amazing calendars this year, but if you're not able to get any, uh, you can also use a picture from a magazine or a napkin, anything like that will work too. First, I'm going to stain the wood shape and I'm gonna use a stain that I already have on hand. It's uh, what I use to stain my kitchen tables, you can see. <laughs> So don't spend money, use what you have. If you don't have a stain, you can use some acrylic paint as well. And since I got my hands dirty already, I'm gonna stain the bunny as well. Key here is to use a similar color background as your picture. First, I line the picture on the top of the wood shape and I can already tell that I cannot just copy the contours here because I will lose the words here in the space between the planks. So let's cut out the heart first. Okay, now we see exactly what we're working with. Let's line it up and let's work section by section. First, we are going to mark the first blank and cut it off. Okay, this aligns perfectly here. All right, let's align the second plank. We have the word love here. This is gonna be great. Just like that, use a piece of tape so it doesn't slip when you flip it over. Contour and cut it out. Perfect. Repeat same steps for the third and fourth plank. Make sure you work section by section. That way you don't cut out any important part of your picture. For the decoupage, I'm going to use a Dollar Tree glue stick and Mod Podge. It is my personal preference and it's faster to use a glue stick to attach these pieces. Uh, but of course, if you want, you can use Mod Podge all the way. Uh, once everything's aligned, I'm just going to cut off the excess here on the sides and everywhere and then cover the whole thing with Mod Podge in the end. I'm only using Mod Podge because I want to turn the glossy calendar page into a matte finish. Otherwise, I have no patience for Mod Podge, smoothing out and all the bubbles, <laughs> but the foil really helps. Let's make a cute little hanger for that heart. I'm going to use the wooden beads. I got these couple years ago at a Dollar Tree. I haven't seen them since, but you should be able to find these colorful ones. We're going to paint them anyway. Also, I plan to dig into this huge wood value pack from the Dollar Tree. Have you seen these? So many things in there. Let's see what we could use. Also, we're going to need some paint, a little bit of greenery, wire, color coordinating ribbon. Also, I'm going to use an old ring. It's a leftover from witch's legs. I don't know if you remember. <laughs> I'm going to just spray paint it. Of course, you can use anything else like a bracelet or any other ring around the house. And to paint my beads, uh, I mix white and pink to get a lighter shade and uh, toss my beads in a little cup uh, to paint them just like that and then take them out to dry with the bamboo skewer. And the other half of beads I paint gray. And then I find two little hearts in my value pack and I paint them pink. Next, I wrap a wire around the ring, just like that. It 
it's going to be a hanger for my heart, just like that. So next we're gonna feed the beads um, on the wire and just alternate the colors. So cute, isn't it? We are just going to glue it to the back of the sign. Just cut a small piece of ribbon that's going to be your band-aid on top of the hat glue. It's looking so good. We just need a bow because we like to put a bow on everything, right, Gaga? <laughs> Look at her cute little farmhouse bow. Just a simple pink burlap bow tied in the middle with a floral wire. And if you like, you can uh, make a second layer on top of it, just using a thin Dollar Tree ribbon. I'm just gonna tie it over there at the bottom of the ring, at the top of the beads. Add a little bit of greenery to tie in with the picture colors. Tap it off with the little hearts and we are done. Look how beautiful. I hope you are. Please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and automatically become my bestie. <laughs> Before I proceed to the next cutout, I remember that I have this adorable picture from a Dollar Tree. It comes with the wooden beads attached to it already. What a great value for a dollar. I'm just going to replace the background with this wooden scrapbook paper from the Hobby Lobby. You can get four for a dollar on sale. And let's just dig in our Dollar Tree value pack to find a shape for this picture. Mm, ooh, a cupcake. That's cute. <laughs> First, I'm going to paint the beads and also the cupcake. Leave it out to dry. Next, I'm going to cut the scrapbook paper to size. I'm going to attach it with a spray adhesive. It's really good because it doesn't leave any bubbles. Another option would be to use the Dollar Tree contact paper. Next, I'm gonna put a little cupcake liner on my cupcake cutout. I don't know if you've seen these. Uh, these liners are actually from the Dylan's Candy, so great value for a dollar. I'm just cutting it to size and wrapping around my shape. It's going to lay flat, uh, just like so. But first I'm gonna mix those two paints to get a light brown color to paint a line above the liner, uh, just like a muffin top, a cupcake top. <laughs> Next step is optional, but if you can find this 3D paint at a Dollar Tree, you can actually make a, like a 3D uh, buttercream on your cupcake. And of course, don't forget to add a cherry on the top. <laughs> And then you're gonna glue your liner and attach the cupcake to the picture. And how about some tiny beads for sprinkles? And you can drizzle even some chocolate there too. <laughs> it would look even better if my Dollar Tree had some of that brown 3D paint. 
something is off. I think these colors are a little bit too bright for me. I'm going to paint the liner pink. And make that whipped cream drip because it's too even. <laughs> I think it's much better now. And I'm just going to add a little sticker from the Dollar Tree here. And I think that's a perfect cherry on the top here. <laughs> All right, back to the wood cutouts. We're gonna be using more scrapbook papers from the Hobby Lobby, more pieces from the value pack, wood cubes, as well as small sheet, any embellishments, ribbons, pearls, broken jewelry pieces. Also, I'll be using my shape scissors that I got at a Dollar Tree. You can find a, a variety there. So first I'm gonna cut a little dress to size for my bunny. It's gonna be a girl. Fold in half and cut it off at the top to create a nice neckline. Next, cut out a nice collar out of the pearl strip. Attach the skirt with the spray adhesive. And then hot glue the pearls. We are going to use a little heart shape for the nose and the circles for the feet. And then we're going to paint little circles as toes. Next, just hot glue all the pieces. And we're gonna do a little bow over here on one ear. Next, just fold the ribbon in a little bow tie and tie it with a piece of a wire. Glue it there, fluff it up a little bit, add a little stone in the middle, a pearl button, a little purse, any other charm you might have. Next, with the Sharpie marker, I'm drawing the mouth, eyes, whiskers, and uh, I'm not good at this. I should have at least practiced on a piece of paper first, but it's too late now. And then I just add some blush. And here is look at my lady. I think she's so cute. When I show her to my sister, she asked me if she's throwing a hissy fit. I said, no, she's just relaxing with her eyes closed. <laughs> and then I cut out some inner ears for her. And of course, color coordinating with her dress. Attach them with a the spray adhesive. Next, I cover the wooden square with a sheet of moss, uh, hot glue it, and that's gonna be her stand. Except I don't like the wood showing, so I have to stain it around. Of course, it would be easier to do it before. And then attach her to the stand using the wooden cubes for support. And if you like, you can also give her a little flower to hold. And that's going to be my cherry on the top. And in the meantime, look what my daughter made. A candle. How pretty. And it smells beautiful too. Wow, that looks really nice. She actually used a candle making set from the Dollar Tree. This is the magnolia scent. And the wax came in these little pouches. She didn't use up everything. But it basically came in with a glass jar and a wick. And she layered it down, lit up, and look how pretty. I thought I'll share it with you because it's a nice quick DIY that many people would enjoy. And now the last DIY, the Easter basket. This is the cutest little sign for Easter, I think. You can find it with your own monogram letter. And I'm just experimenting here, uh, doing designs with the hot glue. I wanted to do something different. I don't know if it's gonna come out good or bad, but different for sure. <laughs>
Next, I stain my basket and I realized it would have been easier if there was a base coat under the designs. Uh, but that's a suggestion for you now. <laughs> Lesson learned from the last project. I'm going to stain the base now for this basket. And I'm going to use the wood planks because my value pack doesn't have any more of these squares. One more thing. If you got your value pack, could you comment and let me know if you have the same shapes as me or they're random and everybody gets different ones? I wonder. And then I'm just experimenting with the colors. First I used brown, it was too much for me. I wiped it a little bit down and then I used some more gray. And like I said, if there was a base coat, gray would be better, less work. Uh, but in the end, um, I went over everything with the sponge and white paint and that really emphasized the designs. Also using a wet wipe to distress it a little bit here and there. Next, I trace around each egg, each on a different um, scrapbook paper and cut it out. And then I use the adhesive spray again to attach those eggs. And then I decide to paint the letter pink to coordinate with the eggs as well as the bow. I have to decorate this basket with some florals, so I'm going to cut them apart to tiny pieces. And I'm going to glue these in between the eggs and a little bit on the side as well. And then I'm going to embellish the little wooden bow with a flower gem from the Dollar Tree. And just like I did before, I'm going to cut the sheet of moss to size and glue it on top of the wooden plank and attach it uh, to the basket. In the back, I'm gonna use the wooden cubes. And then I'm gonna add a couple flowers on the side of the basket. I think it looks so cute. And then on the other side, I'm gonna add a moss bunny. I don't know if you've seen these. This is a new product, so cute. And I think it fits perfectly there. Although it's a little bit dark, I think I'm gonna brighten it up with a tiny pink bow around its neck. Isn't he adorable? You get three for a dollar. And I'm gonna glue him on the side of the basket, but not too close to the edge because I love the shape of a basket and I want it to be visible. And that's my cherry on the top. Did you like that? I hope you did. Please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me grow my channel. And if you are not subscribed yet, please do so. And that way YouTube will notify you when I'm back here with a new video. Okay? Take care. Bye-bye.